Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Um, I am just getting ready for the day as you can tell. Um, so I thought I may as well kill two birds with one stone and start the video off now. Um, I'm in a very, very, very good mood today because I'm actually going to Paris next week. Um, if you have um, been watching my videos for a while, you probably know that I went back in February. We did like a very last minute short two day trip, um, which I've now realised I actually don't like doing impromptu trips. Um, I'm very much a planner, but this time I have organised everything in advance. I've got all my restaurants booked. Uh, I'm going to do a little itinerary. Um, and today I'm going to start my packing. I just had a look at the weather and at the minute it is saying there's going to be a little bit of a heat wave in Paris. Um, it's saying 25, 26 degrees currently. So that would be the literal dream. Um, so I'm hoping it stays that way. Uh, we are going in like five days. So I am starting my packing early but um, I'm not actually gonna be wearing any of the pieces in the meantime, so I thought I may as well. Um, so yeah, I thought I would show you how I um, pack and the bits that I'm taking, and I also have quite a few new in pieces, um, some of which I am taking to Paris with me. So I thought um, it made sense to kind of lump it all into one video. Um, so yeah, uh, oh God. Um, I'm using the T3 curler, by the way, in case anyone is wondering. Um, I love this one. I actually used to be a bit scared of um, like barrel curlers with the clamp, but this one is really good. It doesn't leave like, any kinks or anything on um, the hair, which is great. The only annoying thing is, is that it's got this kind of like touch screen. Um, I don't know if you can see. Basically, you um, put in your kind of like hair type, so whether your hair is coloured and then like how thick it is, and then it determines the um, heat based off that, which is really cool, but you can like unlock it really easily by just like touching it because it is touch screen. So that does annoy me a little bit, but other than that, I would highly recommend this curler. Okay, so once I have um, curled my hair, I just go in with um, some hairspray. This one is from um, fudge it smells amazing just kind of liberally spray that just hold it all in place um, and then I do brush the curls out um, I've already done this side but I don't like them to be too kind of um, structured I prefer more of like a loose wave um, so that's that and then finally I go in with some hair oil and um, this Jizu one is 100% worth the hype you literally just need the tiniest amount um, just like a couple of drops and yeah it just makes your hair really smooth and shiny kind of like tames any flyaways um, yeah I really love this product And that is my hair done. Okay, so I will just prop you up there. Um, so it's going to be a bit of a collective haul. Um, I've got some bits from Zara, Amazon Fashion, and um, a couple of Instagram brands as well. Um, but just quickly, I thought I would show you the dressing gown that I am wearing because this is new in and I have been living in it. Um, so it's from Amazon Fashion and it's just a really lightweight waffle fabric, um, super soft on the inside. And I just think this is going to be the perfect dressing dressing gown for summer um, it's a really good length kind of like calf length and um, I'm wearing it in an extra small and I would say it comes up true to size um, now it comes in a good few colours but obviously I went for the beige um, but I'm now thinking I'm going to get um, they have like a black one with white piping and I think that one would be perfect for my fake tan days so I think I'm going to pick that one up too um, but they were under £20 so you really can't go wrong um, and yeah I just thought I would show you that quickly because I have been wearing it all the time 
So moving on to actual clothes and the first outfit is one I'm actually going to be taking to Paris with me. Um, I think I'm going to wear this on the first night and both of these pieces are new in. Um, so the jeans are the classic Levi's 501 crop um, and this is my first pair of Levi's um, and I now understand exactly what all the hype is about. Um, being five foot two, I struggle so much with the length of jeans and these are absolutely perfect. Normally I have to chop the length off with jeans, um, which obviously makes them into a raw hem, um, which I don't mind, but sometimes you just want that very classic straight hem like these have. Um, I will also insert cutaways to the side somewhere um, so you can see like the full length because I don't know if you can see now. But yeah, I went for the shortest leg length which is the 26 and if you are petite then your prayers have been answered and definitely consider um, picking up a pair of Levi's because the length is honestly just perfect. Um, in terms of the wash, I went for one of the lighter shades, which I think was called Luxor. Um, and it's just a perfect wash for summer, um, a really nice pale blue. The only thing I would say about these jeans is that I do find they come up a little bit big. Um, so I went for the waist 24, which is my usual size. And as you can see, there is a little bit of a gap at the back. Um, so I do think I could have sized down. But saying that, I just find that they are so flattering on the bum and on the legs, um, really comfortable as well. So I'm not sure if sizing down would make a difference to that, um, but I do have bigger thighs in comparison to my waist. So sometimes I can find that jeans that fit me like perfectly on the waist are a little bit tight around my legs, um, but I just love how these fit on the legs. So I think what I'm gonna do is have them taken in at the waist. Um, I think these are going to be a pair of jeans that are going to be in my collection for years to come, so it's definitely going to be worth it for me. Um, and then the top is also a new purchase. This is from an Australian brand called Dish, um, and it's one of my favourite brands of all time. Um, I just love everything they bring out. There's so many like linen pieces, and it just speaks to my soul. Everything is neutral as well, which is obviously just my aesthetic to a T. Um, but this top I actually got in the sale. Um, I'd say Dish is kind of like a mid-priced brand. Their dresses are generally around kind of like like 120 to 180 dollars but like I said this top was actually in the sale and I think I ended up getting it for around 20 dollars which is just crazy um it's 100% linen and gorgeous quality I love this little peplum detail and I just think it pairs perfectly with the jeans um, I also have on my little Dior slingbacks to finish off the look and yeah I just think this is a really cute one for my first night in Paris so next up we have a very bright pop of colour. Um, you guys know me, I generally just stick to neutrals, but something about this colour was just drawing me right in. Um, so I describe it as kind of like a red toned fiery orange and I just think it is beautiful. Um, I mean how perfectly does it pair with tan accessories. Um, I'm so glad my little Loewe basket bag is back out to play again this year. But yeah, I just thought this was the most stunning colour. Um, the style is very classic, you've just got that scoop neck and then it is a midi length with a kind of small slit up one side. Um, like I said before, I will be doing cutaways so you can see like the full length. Um, but it is a knit fabric, but it's kind of like that um, quite slinky knit rather than being, you know, the kind of brushed, soft, thicker knit. Um, so it's going to be perfect for summer, um, especially on holiday. Imagine this on like a balmy summer evening on holiday. Would just be the absolute dream. Um, it did come in a fair few other colours. Um, there was a sage green, which was beautiful. But yeah, like I said, I was just really drawn in by this orange and I am so pleased with it now it's here. Um, I'm wearing an extra extra small in this and I would say it is true to size and yeah I just absolutely love it so you'll have to let me know what you think. Next up we have what I think is my favourite from my whole Amazon fashion order. Um, I posted this on my Instagram story the other day and I actually don't think I've ever had as many link clicks on an item as I did on this. 
Um, so I've just got the shirt untucked just so I can show you the shape and the sizing. Um, but it is essentially a 100% linen cord. So you've got a very classic um, linen shirt. I went for a size small in this. So I did size up um, just for a little bit more of an oversized fit um, and it's perfect. So it's got just a simple pocket on one side um, and otherwise it's just a very classic linen shirt. Um, this linen is really thick and beautiful quality as well. And then I've just tucked the shirt in to show you the trousers. But they are a high-waisted wide leg. Um, they've got this elasticated waistband, so they are super comfortable. Um, they've got pockets, and then, yeah, like I said, they just go down into a wide leg. Now, I am wearing heels with them because um, with just like flats, they are a little bit too long for me. I think if I was wearing this on holiday on the beach, then I could get away with it with a pair of sandals. But I still do think I might have them taken up like a couple of inches. Um, I'd say if you are 5'4", five, four, four or above, then these are going to be like the perfect length. But to be honest, I am really liking how um, this looks dressed up. Um, I think as a holiday evening outfit, this could be really cool. Um, it does come in a good few colours. There was um, a black, a white and a beige. Um, but I'm loving lilac at the minute. I just think it's such a pretty colour, especially for spring. Um, so yeah, I went for this one. But I think this is the kind of thing you could buy in literally every colour. Um, and imagine this shirt untucked and open over the top of a bikini. Um, I just think that would be the perfect holiday look. Um, I don't think I mentioned, but I am wearing a extra, extra small in the trousers. And they come up true to size. They fit fab. Um, and yeah, I'm just obsessed with this. Next up, we have another linen piece. And this one is a very classic white shirt dress. Um, to me, this is just the perfect everyday throw-on dress um, for pretty much every occasion throughout summer. Um, I would wear this around the house, um, around the garden if I had one. Um, I'd wear it into town. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. It's just super comfortable, easy to wear and lightweight. Um, if you watched my workwear video, you might have seen that there was a similar white shirt dress from Massimo Dutti. Um, now this one I'd say is more, oh hello Wally, <laughs> this one I'd say is more kind of like everyday wear, whereas that one is kind of more dressy in its structure, um, but I would say they are very similar and this one is over half the price. So yeah, it's in that same really nice quality linen that the lilac set is, um, again it's 100% linen and it just looks so effortless. Um, it is a kind of loose unstructured fit. But like with everything, I have cinched it in at the waist with a tan belt. Um, I just prefer things kind of like cinched in, especially on my body type with me being quite petite. And then the shoes that I was just wearing are also Amazon fashion. Um, in fact, I think every single piece bar the Levi's um, are all from The Drop. Um, which is an Amazon brand and honestly they have some absolute jams on there if you couldn't already tell from the fact everything I ordered was from the drop um, but yeah these are a raffia sandal um, kind of like a designer inspired dupe they kind of remind me of the Saint Laurent sandals um, but obviously a fraction of the price um, so they came in multiple colours but I opted for this raffia pair which I just think are so cute now sizing wise I ordered these in a three and a half because I read in the reviews that they came up a little bit small um, and I'm normally a three so I would say definitely size up half a size although I do also think I could have potentially even gone up to a four and um, so that's just something to bear in mind but yeah they are just a very simple um, classic slider for summer they've got a really cushioned um, sole if you can see that um, so I feel like they're going to be really comfortable and I love how they look with tan accessories and then the final piece I picked up from Amazon fashion is a really great basic um, this comes in multiple colours, but I went for this like beigey camel tone. Um, I really love the uh, sage green as well though. Um, so I might go back to pick that one up because I just wanted to try it out first to see what the shape was like. And I love it. So obviously it is a racer back, 
but it's cut quite far in on the shoulders um, and I wasn't sure if I'd be able to wear a bra with this but surprisingly you can wear a strapless bra and you can't see it at these sides and um, I'll try and link one below that is similar to what I have but I get quite a lot of questions on it and it is a old H&M one um, but they tend to always have them in because it's just one of those like classic nude strapless ones um, and again this is in a similar kind of fabric to the orange dress I showed you earlier um, but this one's a finer rib and um, I think the fabric of this makes it so much more dressy than your average racer back top um, I've got a fair few in my collection and I think this is a really good slightly more formal alternative um, I have just paired it with the Levi jeans um, I don't know if I mentioned before but I would say these are kind of like a classic straight leg um, but not too wide. For me, these are like the perfect um, style of jeans. Um, if I did mention that before, then I'm sorry for repeating myself, but I'm not sure that I did. Um, and then I have the raffia sandals on um, and my Loewe basket bag to finish off the look. Um, and I think this is another one I'm going to take to Paris with me, particularly if we do end up getting a more overcast or rainy day, then I think this will be a good option with a blazer over the top. Um, and yeah, just a really great basic. Okay, so the sun has made an appearance and it has suddenly got very bright in here. So apologies for the change in light. Um, but moving on to Zara and the first thing I picked up is this very bright pink cord. Um, now online, this looks like more like a typical kind of dark bright pink, um, but in real life, it is very bright indeed. Um, so I'm not 100% sold on the colour. Um, I do think I like it though, but you're going to have to let me know what you think. Like, is it too much? I don't know. Um, but I thought for Paris, this could be quite cute, um, either for a daytime or evening look. But I would probably wear this to like lunch. Um, we've booked a few like really nice lunches with like outdoor terraces. So I thought this could be cute if it is um, as hot as the forecast is saying it's going to be. Um, so I picked up the shirt in an extra small and I really like this actually. Um, it's a really nice kind of flowy fabric. You've got pockets on either side um, and then the shorts are also an extra small. Um, but as you can see, I have had to tie them at the back. Um, now this is normally the case with kind of like Zara trousers um, and sometimes shorts for me, but these are exceptionally big. I will just show you um, how big they are. Um, so as you can see, like the, let me take it off, the gap is huge here. Um, so I would say to probably size down two sizes in these, I mean, definitely size down one size, but um, I would say potentially two because they really do come up quite big. So initially I thought they were gonna be an absolute no, um, but once I tied them at the back, I really like the shape of them. Um, I love how they flare out a little bit. I love how high-waisted they are. Um, I love this kind of little um, mock pocket detail here. Um, I feel like these are very, is it 60s? I think it's 60s. Um, but yeah, it's giving me those kind of like cute vibes. Um, I really like it with the shirt and the length is so good as well. Um, I don't like shorts that are really short. So these are such a great length. They come down to kind of like, um, well, they cover enough of my thighs to be comfortable for wearing out and about. Um, so yeah, I'm not really sure. You're gonna have to let me know whether you think I should keep this set or not. Obviously, I need to get the shorts taken in um, and I'm not really sure if it's worth it but I do think I would wear both pieces separately and um, particularly the shirt I think it would look gorgeous with some white wide leg trousers um, or with jeans and um, so yeah I think I'll keep the shirt but I'm not 100% sold on the shorts. Next up from Zara we have a black mini dress um, and this is actually quite different for me because I wouldn't usually go for something quite so booby. Um, but I just really liked the shape of this online. So I thought I would give it a go. Um, now that it's here, I'm not like super impressed with it. Um, online, it looks like quite a structured um, fabric, but I would say it's actually quite thin, um, which I was a little bit disappointed with because I think it was that kind of like structured shape that really sold it to me. 
um, but it is a good fit. I do like the length as well. Um, it's quite a short mini dress. So um, on someone who is petite, I think it works really well. Um, another thing I'm not 100% on though is the fact that it's got this kind of um, like metal boning here, which is obviously to give it the structure um, around like your boobs, but um, it kind of like comes out a little bit. I think you can see there where it kind of like juts out a little bit when it should just sit kind of curved. Um, so yeah, that I think cheapens it a little bit for me. So I think that this one will go back. Um, I might take it to Paris as like a backup option, um, but yeah, I don't think I will keep it because I just don't think the quality is 100% there. So the next outfit is very much a me outfit. Um, and these are actually two pieces from different brands, um, but I was hoping that these were going to work well together and be the same kind of tone of white. And luckily they match perfectly. Um, so they are both linen pieces, but the top is from Dish um, and the skirt is from another Instagram brand called Vita Grace. So I actually bought the top a few months ago from Dish. So this one is sold out now, um, but they do have a very similar one online at the minute. So I will leave that one linked, but it is just so cute. And it has the cutest tie detail at the back. And I just love it so much. Um, and then I ordered this skirt recently from Vita Grace. Um, and I think this should still be available. Um, so it's this scalloped edge mini skirt. Um, it's got a really thick waistband, which I love. And I love how voluminous the shape is. Um, it's quite a short mini skirt. So again, probably going to be best if you are petite. Um, and it does also have a matching top, which obviously I didn't buy, but it was so cute. Um, so yeah, I'm really manifesting sunny weather in Paris because I just think this will be the perfect kind of like lunch outfit. Um, I have it on with just some tan flat sandals and then I have my little basket bag. And then also from Vita Grace, I picked up this really cute little cord. Um, this came in white pink and maybe another color as well um, but i went for the navy because i just thought it was so chic um, and the model that they use to model their clothes could honestly sell me absolutely anything and <laughs> she's just unreal um, so yeah i had to pick this up and i am really glad that i did so it's just a shirt and short set but as you can see, they've got like little mini kind of cutouts um, in kind of like stripes. I'm not explaining that very well, but hopefully you can see um, the detail. And then the shorts again has kind of like a little bit of a bigger waistband. Um, and then I have just cinched it in with a belt. Um, it doesn't need it, but I just quite like that um, tan contrast with the navy. Um, but this is how it looks without. Um, I would say that these shorts come up slightly big. Um, I don't know whether I got a small or an extra small, but yeah, there is a little bit of room. Um, but obviously, because they are elasticated, um, you can't really tell. But I would say, because of the fact that they are elasticated, you could size down in these. Um, now again, I am going to be taking this to Paris. I just think this is a perfect kind of like wandering around the city kind of outfit, either with sandals or with trainers if I'm doing a fair bit of walking. And yeah, I just think this is something that I'm going to reach for time and time again throughout the summer, um, year after year. So it's actually the next day now. Um, it took me longer than I expected to gather all the stuff I needed for packing. Um, so I thought I may as well just pick up where I left off and um, start it today. Um, so first stage with like outfit planning and packing. Um, and this is what I do like just generally as well. But I have a little note here on my phone. Um, and basically, I have just been writing in um, all the outfit ideas that I have for Paris as I go along. Um, and like I said, I do this just generally as well, just with like my usual Instagram content. Um, because I'm so forgetful, whenever like an idea pops into my head for an outfit I um, think would look nice together or I want to shoot, then I will write it down in a note. So I just ran out of storage there. Um, I really think it's time I got myself a new memory card because I am forever running out of storage and it is very annoying. Um, but I was just saying that 
half the time when I actually come to try on the outfits that I have written down in my notes. Um, they don't actually end up working together, um, either because of like the tones not being right or just like the different pieces not looking right together. Um, so basically that's a very roundabout way of saying that once I have written down um, the outfit ideas in my notes I will then try everything on and when it comes to um, holidays what I will do is just take a really quick mirror like selfie of every outfit um, just so that way I know exactly what I need to pack and then it just makes my whole life easier once I am actually there. Um, now obviously because I do like content creation as a job um, it's more of like a military style operation than if I was just going on like a general holiday but I still do think it's quite useful to do that um, before you go anyway because that way you know that everything's going to work um, in conjunction with one another and you can also kind of like cut down um, everything you're packing if you like change your mind or um, you find that like certain bags and shoes work with like multiple outfits. So yesterday I popped all of the clothes that I think I'm going to take um, onto this rail um, just so I can see everything. Um, as you can see there are a lot of white, um, some neutrals, and then a few little pops of colour. This is that Zara set I showed you yesterday. Um, and then over here, this one is um, the Massimo duty dress. If you've watched my wedding guest outfits video, you will have seen this. Um, and then Aiden's just started putting some of his bits on this side too. And then over here, I've just laid out all of the bags and shoes um, I think that I might need. Um, I won't end up taking like all of these shoes, but I just thought um, it'd be easier to get them out of the spare room um, I'm in the middle of a wardrobe switch over at the minute and it's just absolute chaos in there so I just thought I may as well do it in the main room also just quickly this is my outfit today um, just super cozy and comfortable um, it's a set from Adenola I love this color um, such a nice shade of green and yeah just really comfy for a day at home so I am now done taking all the pictures and I've just added them all to a little folder on my phone um, called Paris Outfits. Um, as you can see, they're literally the most basic of pictures, but it's just going to make it that much easier when I'm actually getting ready in Paris. Um, I actually saw on Chloe... Um, I'm not actually sure what her last name is, but she's Chloe Rose on YouTube. Um, and I was watching her pack with me video um, a few months back. And she's kind of like um, created these collages where she'd taken like images from the websites of all the items and kind of put them all together and then put at the top when she was going to wear that outfit. Um, and I thought that was a really good idea, but um, probably a little bit time consuming. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is use those pictures I've just taken and put them into like Canva or something like that um, and label them for where I'm going to wear each outfit and then that can help me form a bit of an itinerary because obviously I'll know um, where I'm eating on each day and then can kind of like go from there. Okay um, so I'm finally getting to use my big antler cases for the first time. So excited to have a matching luggage, what a treat. Um, so there are the smaller ones are inside as well, so I think I'm going to use the big one um, for my stuff and then probably um, Aidan will use the medium sized one um, and then obviously I'll use the cabin one too. I'm out, oh my god. Um, Okay, so this is the size of the bigger case. Um, I should definitely have enough room because this is huge. Um, and then the smaller ones are over here. Excuse the mirror, I just moved it because um, it was getting very bright and reflecting loads of light. Um, but yeah, this is the medium sized one, which um, I think Aidan will probably use. And then I have used this one before, but this is the little cabin one. Um, so I'm gonna use that obviously for hand luggage. And then look how cute this one is. A mini one. I'm gonna put my camera in here, I think. I think that would be perfect for my camera, but how adorable. So I took a little break to have a snack and post a reel on Instagram, um, but I cannot put this off for any longer. So I need to stop procrastinating and get on with it. Um, but the integral cog in my packing is these. 
Um, so these are just like packing cubes. Um, I had my previous ones for probably like four or five years, um, but the zips have started to break. So I've just upgraded them. Um, I just got these off Amazon, so I will leave them linked. Um, but yeah, packing cubes are nothing new, but if you don't have them, then what are you doing with your life? Because they just make the whole process so much easier. Um, so with these, okay, so I'm guessing this will be, it's quite a few. I wasn't expecting them to be that many. Um, okay. So this is the biggest one. Um, and then I've got like a medium sized one, a small one, a couple of these like little pouches. These are good for like your laundry and stuff. Um, I don't know what I'd use that for, but maybe like just like bits and bobs. Oh, and then this one is kind of like a toiletry bag, I think. Um, so you've just got like this little thing for um, like makeup brushes and stuff. And then this little zipped section. Um, so I might stick some toiletries in there, although I do have a pretty good makeup bag already, so I probably won't use it for that. Um, so what I'm going to do now is pack everything um, by kind of, how should I do it? I think I'm going to do it by day outfits and night outfits and just group everything that goes in the same outfit together. <music> So I managed to get pretty much all of my stuff into um, four packing cubes. Um, so I've got nighttime outfits in these ones and then daytime outfits in these ones. Um, you also get this little like shoe one. So I've shoved a load of shoes in there. Um, but yeah, I've still got like loads of space. Um, so I'm starting to think that potentially me and Aiden could have shared a case. Um, although I have got my toiletries and stuff to go in, um, so I'll show you that um, in a min. But yeah, I'm going to stick my um, like underwear and my jams and stuff in here. That's really handy. Um, and then I also couldn't fit in this dress, so I'm going to just fold that up. But I just thought I'd quickly show it you. Um, I didn't show it you yesterday because it is um, sold out in most sizes, I think. Um, I bought this one a few months ago from Dish, again. Um, but it's just the prettiest dress of all time. So it's got this tie shoulder detail at the top, which is just gorgeous um, and then it's quite tight uh, around like the bodice and then flows out into a really kind of exaggerated skirt um, but yeah I'm just in love with that and I cannot wait to wear that one excuse the horrendous lighting but it started to go a bit dark outside and um, so we're just gonna have to make do um, but in terms of toiletries I just thought I would show you how like I generally pack them because um, I've got a few good little cases uh, but obviously I'm not going to put the bulk of my stuff in there for now because I'm going to need it over the next few days um, but this is where I usually put all of my skincare and um, it's one of the clear uh, makeup bags from Space NK and um, these are really handy and because I obviously do Instagram for a job um, I do get quite a few skincare products sent through which is really great um, but I usually put anything that's like duplicates or kind of like travel sized um, products into this little travel case. So I've got them for when I next go away. So in here currently, I have a travel size of the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm, which I love. I feel like this is everyone's favorite, but um, for good reason, because it is great. Um, and then, oh, I've got a little SPF from Avene, I think the brand is. Um, I think it's a French brand. But they sent me three of these, um, different ones for different skin types. Um, and I've been using one at the minute and it's really, really good. So I'm going to pop another one of those in there because that's like a really handy size. 
Um, and then I've got some bits from Fresh Beauty, which is one of my favourite brands. Um, I got these in a cohorted box last month, um, which is like a subscription, like beauty subscription service, similar to like Glossy Box, but every month they stick to one specific brand. Um, so last month it was a Fresh Beauty. Um, so this is my favourite cleanser ever. Um, so I've just got this little travel size in there. It's the Soy, Flip, bleh, soy Face Cleanser cleanser um, and then I have the toner this is like the deep hydration one and um, this is really good I've never used this before but I have been using it recently and it's great um, and then I've got a black tea instant perfecting mask I'm yet to try that one um, and then I've got the black tea overnight firming mask which I have used before and I absolutely love. Um, I wouldn't say it's like a mask, I'd say it's more of like a really thick, um, luxurious night cream, super hydrating, so love that. Um, and then I've also got the Rose um, Day Cream in there. And then one of my favourite products, which is the Codely Beauty Elixir. Um, everybody needs this in their travel case because it is just so like refreshing when you're on holiday if it's hot. Um, it smells amazing and yeah, it's just like a really nice fine mist. Um, I love that so much. And then finally, I've got this little um, travel sized mask from Biosense. Um, this is amazing. I think I got this from Cult Beauty with like a gift with purchase and I love it so much. Um, it's a glycolic acid one and squalane. So um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing those ingredients right, but it's a really, really good mask. And then for my makeup, I use one of the flat lay makeup bags. So this like expands all the way out, like to be flat. I mean, it's pretty embarrassing how dirty that is. Clearly I need to put it through the wash. Um, but yeah, it does expand to be flat. So you can just see everything in your makeup bag. Um, that's been an absolute game changer for me. But I've had this one a few years now, so um, I might need to replace it. And then obviously you can scrunch it in with the little toggle thing. And yeah, it's really small and compact. Um, and then finally I have a couple of wash bags which I got as a pack of two from H&M um, hopefully they're still available but if not I'm sure I can link something similar um, but these are really handy um, but this one I just use for my general toiletries like shampoos and um, shower gels that kind of thing um, although we're not going for very long it's only like four nights so I probably won't take too much um, but this one for me is the reason I bought the pack of two and basically I use this in my hand luggage as like my clear pouch um, for any liquids um, and I've never been questioned on it um, so far so yeah it's a really handy one to have and it just saves you having to like get everything out of your bag when you're at the airport but yeah that is pretty much all the packing I am able to do for now and um, these like bags and shoes behind me are just like my higher value things um, so I'll pop them into my hand luggage um, other than that I've just got like the rest of my toiletries to go in my straighteners my curlers um, pajamas and like underwear and stuff but I've got the bulk of my packing done now which I am very happy about but thank you so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed seeing um, my new in pieces and um, there's actually a bit more than I was expecting so I probably could have split them into two videos but you know and hopefully the packing process part of the video was okay I'm um, sorry I couldn't like finish it all off now but I'm just being organized for once and getting it done in advance um, but yeah, thank you again for watching um, and my next video is going to be my Paris vlog. So I'm very excited for that and hopefully I will see you then.